Ladies and gentlemen, good day. Here we have an optimization problem and we will solve it making use of derivatives. So Adimentus, I think that's how you pronounce his name, son of Ares, son of Athens, has 320 feet of fence to enclose a rectangular garden. He wants the area of his garden to be as large as possible. So what are the dimensions of the garden with the greatest possible area? Okay, so let's say, well, that wasn't very straight, but I guess that's okay. <laughs> um, not, a, not a very straight line here. Well, these things bug me. But anyway, so 320 feet of fence, that's what he has in total. And uh, so I'm gonna say that this measures Y Okay, this measures Y also, of course, because it's supposed to be a rectangular garden. This measures X, and so does this. So, we know that in total he's got 320 feet of fence. So, that'll be essentially X plus X, so 2X plus 2Y. That makes good sense, right? Because we, we just need to add up all of them, and that's all the fence that he has to enclose the garden right in the middle. Fantastic. So, let me actually just um, simplify this expression a little bit though, just divide both sides by 2. So I'll get 160 equals x plus y. Alright? Piece of cake. So, but what, what do we want to maximize really? It's the area. We want to maximize the area of the garden. And the area of a rectangle is going to be just x times y. So that is what we want to maximize. Now, what do we do? I have two variables here, and I just want one of them to actually uh, figure out the, the answer. Otherwise, it's going to be hard to take the derivative. And um, So we, we need to actually isolate either variable here from this expression that we had for the perimeter. So let me just subtract y from both sides of the equation. Okay, they cancel out here. So get x is equal to 160 minus y. So I just subtracted y from both sides of the equation. I flipped the sides too. Hopefully that won't confuse anyone. That went over here, that went over the other. The 160 went over there, minus the y. And uh, so once I got this, I can actually plug it in for x. So I get the area is equal to 160 minus y times y. Then I need to distribute the y over here. So I get 160y minus y squared. Then what do we what do we need to do? This is an optimization problem, right? So what I need to do is just that I want to maximize the area, so I will take the derivative of the area. So I get a prime is equal to now I will derive this with respect to y, so I get 160 minus, because the derivative of 160y is just 160, minus 2y. So I bring down the exponent, multiply by the variable and subtract 1 from the exponent, so I get 160 minus 2y. And when we optimize, we want to make the derivative equal to 0, right? And now I'm just going to solve for y. So I'll just add 2y to both sides of the equation. Okay, and I'll end up with 160 is equal to 0 plus 2y, which is just 2y. Great, now I can just divide the size by 2, and y is 80. What, is, what does this mean? This means that if y is 80, or when y is 80, we are going to have the garden with the greatest possible area. But now we're going to have to solve for x as well because I just know y so far. So, and remember that x is equal to, let me just pick a different color, because this is about to get confusing. x is equal to 160 minus y. So x is equal to 160 minus 80, right? Because we want y to be 80. So 160 minus 80 is 80 as well. Look at that. So both x and y are 80, so this works out to be a square. So 80 feet on all of the sides, 
so though that's or uh, <laughs> these are the dimensions of uh, of the re uh, rectangular garden 80 feet by 80 feet okay so that's it and uh, just to extend the, the the problem here they could have also asked what is uh, the greatest possible area and then in that case of course all we would need to do is multiply 80 by 80 so the maximum area would be 6400 square feet so that's it <laughs>